Thunder, 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 thunder. Hey, kid, why are you fapping it in the corner? I'm practicing with my sword. No, you're not. You're jerking it in the corner to this penis. Get out of here. And give me that pocket knife while you're at it. Oh, this thing's pretty cool. Hey, what you got there? You suck. Wasn't there something in the corner? Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. Today we're taking a look at a Thundercats figure, and it's the Deluxe Lion-O from Bandai. Now this is from the 2011 reboot series that was out on Cartoon Network, and I picked this figure up because it was on clearance at Big Bad Toy Store for $3 and some change, and I had gotten the Thunder Tank and wanted a Thundercat to go along with it. So. They actually had two versions of Lion-O. There was this one and another one. However, this came with the little Thunder Links accessory piece, so I figured I'd go ahead and check this one out, and it was half the price. And uh, this is supposed to be in the 4-inch scale, but I'm guessing that means it's 3 and 3 quarter inch, because I've never seen an actual 4-inch scale toy. I don't know. Uh, if you have, leave a comment down below. Now, if you don't remember or have never seen it, in 2011, the... Cartoon Network rebooted the Thundercats, much like they did He-Man and the Masters of the Universe a few years prior to that. And this didn't do so well. It was pretty good. I liked it. It had an anime look to it, but I think it only lasted one season, whereas He-Man, I think we got two seasons out of. And uh, they made a lot of really cool toys. I never picked any of them up. And I kind of, thinking back now, I wish I did pick them up because there were some really cool looking ones in there. So... Um, there's a lot of them on sale right now at Big Bad Toy Store, so if you're interested, definitely go check it out. The Thunder Tank is 11 bucks, which was a heck of a deal, because that was like 30 initially. But, yeah, th these look pretty cool. Um, they're pretty well detailed. Let's go ahead and uh, start out and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Lion-O in the package, and I gotta say, this package is pretty cool looking. We get the Thundercats logo up here at the top. Uh, it's in this kind of art bubble box thing, which is pretty cool. We got Lino, the Sword of Omens, and then this is the uh, Thunder Links accessory piece. I don't know if that's supposed to be the Tower of Omens or what that is. If you know, leave a comment down below. But it's really detailed nicely. It looks pretty cool, whatever the thing is supposed to be. It's been so long since I've seen the show. I can't remember much about it. I need to go back and watch it again. Uh, but we get the uh, lion -O action right here when we put the figure up against the base here. There was a gotcha scan capture thing there. Uh, we get some artwork of lion -O, and it says Thunder Lynx, which was the gimmick that the toys had, which was pretty cool. Now, if you don't know who lion -O is, he is the uh, leader of the Thundercats. It's kind of... Uh, Almost, I want to say an Arthur myth where uh, the Thundercats leave Thundera, it blows up, they go to Middle Earth, or Third Earth, not Middle Earth, uh, Third Earth, and then in the Time Pods, uh, Cryopods, he grows up, so he's basically a boy in a giant man body, and he leads the Thundercats, so yeah, that's pretty much lining up. Uh, but yeah, definitely cool, just kind of a close-up here. I love that logo, that looks phenomenal and then there's the anime style that the cartoon was the thunderlings action <laughs> if you want to scan that i doubt it still works but there's lino sword whatever this gas pump looking thing is uh and then there's the action gimmick um nothing but the instructions from bandai down there but yeah i like i don't know there's something about that box art i really like i like how it curves around there uh here's the back of the package and it's got the same artwork up here it says thundercats shows you how to work the gimmick um there's a little write-up of lion -O and a picture of him here are some of the bad guys well two of the bad guys and tiger in the line and then some of the vehicles that you can get as well so just kind of show you that real fast again there's the thundercats logo looking cool the lion -O, ages four and up, and there's the figure, looking kind of cool, and there's the write-up. If you want to pause and read that, you're more than welcome to. Here are the other figures. That Mumra looks kind of weird to me, always has. Tigra, 
I wanted to get him, but they sold out of him. And then that is Groon, um, whoever that guy is. I can't remember him. There's the Thunder Tank, uh, which I did get. You can also get additional uh, racers that came with figures. I remember seeing that in the store, thinking that was cool. And they, they actually connect to the Thunder Tank. And then the bad guy vehicle. And then I believe that is the Tower of Omens playset. Looking kind of cool. So yeah, definitely a lot of fun toys uh, produced in the line. So let's go ahead and get Lion-O out of the box and see what we think. So here we have Lion-O and his 1950s gas pump out of the package. And I have to say, I'm really disappointed in this figure. It is a three and three quarter inch scale figure. And the biggest problem I've got with this guy, now he does have the gimmick where uh, the magnet, he's, his whole gimmick is, if I can get this to focus on Lino, not the gas pump, um, he lifts his arms up. Um, of course, now he's not doing it. So uh, he'll lift his arms up when you pl plug it against the little gas pump looking thing. And there's a magnet in there and that's what gets it to do its little thing, which is fine. Um, articulation is where this figure just falls apart. Uh, the, the sculpt is amazing. I love it. It looks like the cartoon. They did a good job and they did not skimp anywhere on detail. Well, maybe back here a little bit. Um, but the metallic blue looks gorgeous. His little feet, the metallic silver looks good. Um, lift this up here, show the belt off. I mean, that looks spectacular i mean it's spot on it's gorgeous it looks like thundercats um the arms um they have some articulation at the elbow um and then he's got his little claw over here i'd like a little painted jewel there that'd be kind of cool but it's got a nice gold paint to it looks pretty cool yeah i'm digging it i like it i like the paint i like the sculpt um he's got articulation in his head that way it doesn't move up and down really uh, it does for the gimmick but that's about it and his shoulders don't have any articulation uh, because of the gimmick and that's fine I would have been fine with that but the problem is waist down there is no waist articulation it's one solid piece of plastic no hip articulation no knee no nothing which means it cannot go into my thunder tank that I bought him for. And that really, really disappoints me. So I guess I'll have to spend this six bucks to get the other one to get a lino that fits in the thunder tank, which is fine. The other truly disappointing piece is this sort of omens here. So just kind of take a look at it. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, it's a little warped. It's a soft rubber and I could take a hair dryer and straighten it out. And again, detail. Looks nice. We got the Eye of Thundera in there. We got all the detail around here. It's all silver paint, which is fine. But why did they not put the black paint on the eye? That drives me crazy. Why would you do that? And then the other thing is, one side generally on these toys, you'll have the Thundercats logo. And then the other side would be the eye. And I understand that the Thundercats logo might be kind of small there, so I can see them going with the eye on both sides, which is fine, but paint the bloody stripe on it. Ugh, that just, that drives me insane that you go through so much detail and leave key components out. Now, the last bit is this gas pump accessory looking thing. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what it is. It's, I suppose it's supposed to be an homage to the uh, Tower of the Omens. Now, this thing is so detailed. Um, I mean, that looks fantastic. And you got the Thundercats logo there. So this has a lights and sound feature that does not work because uh, it's so old, the batteries inside of it did not work. It does come with batteries, but they're watch batteries. I don't have any watch batteries at the house, so... Um, and it was in the off position when I first got it, uh, so I switched it over there. Unfortunately, the lights and sounds don't work. I'm presuming if I get some batteries and put it in there, they will work. So next time I'm at the store, I may get some. I don't know. Um, it's got this weird thing here where it can flip downward, and I don't know why. If you know what this is or why that is, let me know. I'd, I'd like to know, but the detail, even when you roll it backwards, it makes the whole Eye of Thundera 
um, bigger. I mean, that's freaking awesome. Um, and then, of course, we got the eye with the black paint in the middle on it. Looking kind of cool. Now, there's only two sides. There are two sides that are supposed to be, I guess, metallic that aren't painted, which is fine, but at least we get it there. Um, overall, to be honest, I think I like the gas pump better than I do Lion-O. All right, so we're going to try the gimmick of Lino on his little, I'm just going to call it the Tower of Omens accessory bit. So we've got, here he is holding the sword. Da -da. So let's uh, see how well this works. So we're going to place the magnetic piece up against the back, and it lifts that far. That's not very far at all. Um, it should go about that high up, but I guess it does work. And then if I had sounds, I could push the button and it'd probably say Thundercats Ho! Or I don't know what it says because the batteries don't work. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And it doesn't release. You have to pull the arms down to get to go back. Let's try it again. Work. Work. There it goes. So it's got to hit that magnet just right to get it to work. And yeah, and then if he wants to relax, you can just pull it down that way and then it's going to fall over. Ah, I don't know what that is for. It's very, very strange. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Now, if you want to, you can take, since he's got the elbows, you can bend the elbows up and you can kind of get this um, little sword of omens give me sight beyond sight kind of pose um and you could probably bring it up a little closer uh yeah give me sight that this toy was going to suck before i spent three dollars on it <laughs> uh but really so is the deluxe 2011 lion-o figure something that you want in your thundercats collection no absolutely not it is not something that you want to buy this thing is really disappointing and the biggest disappointment is the fact that there's no articulation below the elbows i mean the whole body is one solid piece of plastic this isn't even an action figure it's an over glorified figurine really and i'm glad i only spent three dollars on it because i would have been really upset had i spent anything more i think the only thing that makes me um you know not mad about it is the fact it is sculpted well it's painted beautifully the accessory base that really is looks like a 1950s gas pump is sculpted well um it feels solid it looks nice uh it needs new batteries but that's not the fault of the toy i mean the thing's five years old now so i'm not surprised the batteries are dead um it's just the the lack of it being able to bend and going into the thunder tank just drives me crazy so i'll have to get the other one don't buy this just avoid it so there it is the deluxe thunderlinks lino from bandai hey guys thanks for watching if you like this video thumbs it up if you hate this video thumbs it down to watch more ultra maximus click on the links to the right don't forget to subscribe and share and as always look for more videos in the future